Hello, so today we will check out how the quadrature encoder instruction is used with a rotary encoder to assess the menu function of the temperature controller of tutorial 11. Let's get right into it. A rotary encoder can determine the angular position, rotational direction and speed of a rotating shaft. We will consider the incremental type of rotary encoder in this tutorial. It can be used to replace the potentiometer as a digital alternative and will be used to replace the three button menu option for the serial LCD temperature controller. This rotary encoder has a switch with the pin description of output A labeled as CLK or S1, output B labeled as DT or S2, switch labeled as SW or key and GND. It is also commonly available as breakout boards, which includes pull-up resistors with an additional pin of VCC. The switch is activated by pushing down the knob. Output A and Output B generate square wave pulses that are out of phase by 90 degrees. The rising and falling edge of each pulse is used to determine the number of counts per revolution. Thus, a 10 pulse per revolution quadrature encoder will produce 40 counts. The quadrature encoder instruction in LD Micro determines the counts and the rotational direction of the rotary encoder. In LD Micro, insert the quadrature encoder instruction from the instruction menu. Observe that four variables were created and listed in the variable window below XQA0 and XQB0 are the inputs from the rotary encoder. XQZ0 is the encoder switch and YQDIR0 is the quadrature encoder instruction output that indicates the direction of rotation of the rotary encoder. On the instruction, QCount0 is the variable that stores the encoder count. YQDIR0 is high when the counter value increases and low when it decreases. You can change the variable names of the quadrature encoder by double clicking on it. You can also determine the type of edge trigger of the encoder switch. The value of the count per level can either be 0, less than 0, or greater than 0. If it is 0, when the input XQZ0 is active, the counter value is set to 0. If it is greater than 0, the counter value will be rounded to a multiple of the value of count per level when XQZ0 is active. And if the count per level is less than 0, nothing happens when XQZ0 is active. To demonstrate how to display the encoder count on an LCD, set up your breadboard with the serial LCD temperature controller circuit diagram from tutorial 11. Connect pin S1 of the encoder to pin 2 of the Arduino Nano. Connect pin S2 of the encoder to pin 3 of the Arduino Nano. Connect pin key of the encoder to pin 4 of the Arduino Nano. Connect a 330 ohms resistor in series with an LED to pin 5 of the Nano and Grand. Then, open the serial LCD program from tutorial 11. Change the equal value of the compare for equal instruction of room 9 to 3. Delete room 8 by first selecting it and then press shift plus delete key on your keyboard. Double click on the formatted string over URAT instruction in room 7 and change the variable name to Q count 0. Then delete backward slash XDFC and
press the space bar 13 times to blank out any unwanted characters. Click OK. In rung 6, double click on the formatted string over URAT instruction and change the string to encoder count. Delete from rung 1 to 4. Then insert a quadrature encoder instruction above. Double click on it and set its count per revel as 10. Insert a move instruction with its destination as Q count 0 and its source as 100. Insert another move instruction below the first with its destination as Q count 0 and its source as 0. Insert a compare for less than instruction in series with the first move instruction, having values as shown. Finally, insert a compare for greater than instruction in series with the second move instruction, having values as shown. This ensures that the encoder counter value stays between 0 and 100. Assign XQA0 to pin 2 of the Arduino Nano. XQB0 to pin 3, XQZ0 to pin 4, and YQDIR0 to pin 5. Always ensure that XQA0 and XQB0 are assigned to pins on the same port, port D in this case. Compile at mail AVROGCC. Build C solution and call flash MCU. Ensure that the serial LCD input is disconnected from TX pin of the nano before you click on call flash MCU. Observe that encoder is shown on the LCD screen with number 0 below it. The encoder count increases when the rotary encoder knob is adjusted clockwise. The LED connected to pin XQZ0 of the Nano is turned on to indicate the direction of rotation. When the knob is adjusted anticlockwise, the encoder count decreases and the LED goes off to indicate its direction of rotation. Also, observe that the encoder count starts increasing from 0 when the count gets to 100 and starts decreasing from 100 when it gets to zero. Pushing down the knob approximates the encoder count to the nearest multiple of 10. To demonstrate how the rotary encoder is used to access the LCD menu, open the Incubator Temperature Regulator LCD program from tutorial 11. Insert the quadrature encoder instruction in a room above. Double click on it and change input Z to menu. Also, change the counter var to EN count. Then delete room 13. Delete this set of instructions used to adjust the low set point of the controller. Insert a move instruction at this point. Then copy this compare for less than instruction and paste it back on the same branch. The new move instruction is now in contact with the turn on delay timer. Insert a one shot rising instruction in the same branch with the new move instruction. Change the new move instruction destination to EN count and the source to set point L. This new set of instructions transfers the set point value from the EEPROM to EN count variable for adjustment. Change the close if variables of this compare for less than and compare for greater than instructions to EN count. Insert another move instruction below here. Copy this compare for greater than or equal instruction and Paste it in that same branch. 
Observe that the new move instruction branch is now in contact with the middle vertical rail. Change the destination of the new move instruction to set point L and its source to E N count. Insert a normally closed contact with the name menu in the same branch with the new move instruction. This new set of instructions transfers the set point back to be saved in the EE prompt and used for controlling the ETA. Change the formatted string over URAT instruction to set point L to E N count. Repeat the previous modification steps for rung 18, set point H. Carry out the nano pin assignment as in the last example and compile at mail AVROGCC, build C solution, and call flash MCU. Push down the rotary encoder to navigate the menu. Rotate it clockwise or anticlockwise to adjust the low and high set points of the controller. And that is it for today. Please click on the like button if you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know what you think about this tutorial. Consider subscribing to this channel if you have not. Hope to see you soon.